Hello, my name's Alex Maisie and I'm a postgraduate researcher with the Research Centre for Future Landscapes at La Trobe University. Together with Professor Andrew Bennett and Dr Angie Haslam, I've been studying the role of the superb lyrebird as an ecosystem engineer. Ecosystem engineers are organisms that change the physical environment in ways that affect other species. The lyrebird is an incredibly charismatic species with a big beautiful tail, an impressive song that can carry up to a kilometre away, with the ability to mimic a range of different sounds that it hears in its environment. And all of this is accompanied by a fantastic dance. Lyrebirds have been proposed as ecosystem engineers owing to their foraging strategy. When lyrebirds forage, they use their powerful claws to turn over the litter and soil, changing the physical habitat in ways that affect other organisms like worms, centipedes and spiders. To understand the impacts of this soil displacing songster, we undertook a two-year experiment in Victoria's Central Highlands. This region is a mountainous part of Victoria with deep gullies filled with rainforest and steep slopes home to the world's tallest flowering tree, the mountain ash eucalypt. In these forests, lyrebirds moved a staggering 155 tonnes per hectare of litter and soil in a single year. This is more than for any other land animal that we're aware of. I want you to imagine the amount of litter and soil that would be carried by 11 standard dump trucks. This is the amount of soil that a single lyrebird in Sherbrooke would move in just one year. Disturbance by lyrebirds represents an important nutrient cycling process in these forests. Where we fenced lyrebirds out, leaf litter was three times deeper than where they were free to forage. Similarly, soil compaction was greater where lyrebirds were fenced out to a depth of about 15 centimetres. During the fires of the 2019-20 summer, huge amounts of the Great Dividing Range went up in flames. BirdLife Australia estimate that almost 40% of the lyrebirds range was affected. Following these fires, lyrebirds are likely to struggle to fulfil their role as ecosystem engineers. Typically after a big fire, we see a dense flush of growth low to the ground. And this vegetation impedes lyrebirds from foraging there. Furthermore, rainforests represent key breeding habitat for lyrebirds and are usually too wet to burn. But in last summer's bushfires, we saw a massive amount of rainforest burn, shocking ecologists around the country. These areas are going to take many decades to recover. Going forward, unburnt refuges will need to be protected from future fires, as will recovering rainforest. It's now more important than ever to understand the ecosystem engineering role of the lyrebird and the place this has in maintaining the health of our forests.